Okay. Uh, there's a, uh, a document that's needed from the seller side and they're having trouble locating somebody that needs to sign it. So, okay. so yeah, no obstacles at all. Um, wire, the funds have been, has been wired to escrow. Mm -hmm. So once we have yeah, that document. You're working with Drew on this I one? Am. Yeah. Drew, Drew texted me last night and said, hey, I just sent over funds for Gerald's first bar. Yay. <laughs> So, yeah, and that went uh, very, very smoothly, and it's good. been really good. Um, you know, with Drew, just kind of talking through some of his, his experience and wisdom on it. So, yeah, don't plan too much stuff tight against closing because it's almost always going to slip. That was yeah. good. Yeah. So, yeah, I, you know, with your first uh, couple properties, you're always like, I, especially when it's your first primary property, you're buying your first home. Yeah. You're uh, the worst case scenario is missing closing. Well, missing closing really just means we do it on Monday instead of Friday or, you know, like it's, it's usually not actually that big a deal, but it feels really, really significant um, yeah. for, for you on this. What I'd recommend anytime uh, we have, like I have a mix up with title or uh, I, I sense my spidey senses, you know, perk up with lending or something like that. And I'm yeah. thinking, should I be worried about this closing? I always ask. So I'll ask the title company, you know, should I be, you know, I know this is apparently like a routine document, whatnot. Should I be worried about this closing or what level of concern should I have? All I right. just did this with um, my, uh, the eight plex I got under contract on. We we're doing seller financing. And anytime I had to make a decision or let's say counter during negotiations, the seller was very, very motivated to keep moving. But whenever they had to do something, it was days, weeks. You know? <laughs> so I'm thinking, well, if, should I be concerned that this isn't going to go through? Like, are they going to list it on the MLS, even though we've already verbally uh, agreed to it? Um, so I asked my pro property manager and, you know, Tammy, yeah. uh, should I be concerned that this isn't going to, you know, go through? Is there some term that she's not comfortable with? She's like, no, she just, you know, she's out on vacation and, you know, she'll get back to you soon. So um, awesome. I, I like that question because it just, the elephant, at least that feels is in your room, you can at least open that up and talk about it. Yeah, and that's a good phraseology. The uh, what level of sh concern should I have? Just yeah. to kind of gauge that as well. But yeah, it's um, everything's set up. I'm good. become the general contractor because it's a very, very um, specific scope of work: paint inside, paint outside, install LVP, and some trim work. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've got it all set up and ready to yeah. go for Monday. And, yeah, so yeah. I should be able to turn this around in about a month. Heck yeah, that's great. Yeah.